So something I actually forgot to mention that is quite significant um, is before going to Evo, I, I did talk about how I'm tired of being uh, the setup dragger. And I'm tired of having... Yeah, I remember you talking about that. And you're right breaking. to be tired of that because it sucks. So the day before I, I got on the plane, I bought a Steam Deck. Yeah, yeah. Did you get the OLED? I did. Yeah, okay. Um, that's, uh, that's a better one. I'm considering... I, I don't think I'll get the OLED, but when they come out with the next Steam Deck, which they will, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll grab that one. And uh, it, immediately it was like, okay, cool, let's go. And it's like, oh, wait the dock is crucial for the it playing is. of games and the setup it is um and i was like i was able to get the deck itself uh with extremely short notice can i get a dock no i can't fortunately you can, you can get, get a third party dock right well not even but you can get a hub which is just oh, a, yeah. a normal usb hub that's like usb c to like two A's, HDMI, and an Ethernet, and like that's fine as long as it's powered up somewhere, then you're good to go. Um, and then the charger for for C going pass through. So I basically made my own dock by taking that and um, the. I kept. I knew I might need it someday. I kept the little piece of metal that came with the Wii U for setting it up on its uh, upright on your your table or so right the wii u tablet uh uh had a fucking little piece of metal and it fits perfectly for the steam deck so i got that some bitch out and it was you know, all i needed i don't know what to say because this is one of those situations in which you had the foresight and you were completely right but I still feel like shaking my head like you were wrong, even though you're objectively completely right. Came in the clutch, man. It was like I literally I looked everywhere and I'm like, there's no way, there's nowhere I can get an official dock or even a, a third party dock within the day because I'm flying. You know? You know what that is? Somebody in chat just mentioned it. That's my dad who always had the right piece of wood just hanging out in the garage. Yeah. Whenever anything broke, yeah. he's like, you know what? You know what? Hold on. And he would come back and he'd he'd have like the right piece of wood he was saving. It was underneath the fucking fishing rods. Why'd mm. you keep that? I kept that for moments like this. I'm like, what does that fucking mean? How long have you had that? I, you know, I always like ever since that day of like getting ripped off, selling my games, I'm like, fuck this. I'm keeping my shit. I might want to use it again someday. You never know when. Even if you buy something digitally or whatever, it's going to be gone. So let me just keep my shit. I, I have my, my consoles. I have my old shit. That was there. Fucking came in the clutch. So. Oh. So forgot to, <laughs> to talk about something. Okay. Um, but I, I, so, I mean, I just, just, just to finish the thought though. Um, I was very prepared for that to be a very rough solution to yeah. the I want my fighting games on the go um, problem. It's a lot less rough than you expected, isn't it? Holy shit, man. It runs, dude. Like You can run Street Fighter 6 on it, no problem. 100%. And like it's not just on low settings either. It's like low mid. You can customize a bit. You it know what run, I mean? Like run, the frame rate's fine. That's what matters. Frame rate, yeah. It, the <laughs> PC version of 6 on my computer proper has more hiccup than this did on a lower setting. You know, it's crazy. Um, I was very impressed with that. Actually. What did you uh, uh, use for controls? Just controllers? Uh, I, pl I plugged in a dual, I, so the splitter it came with, a, so I plugged in my dual sense and mm -hmm. then um, uh, a stick. And then- Yeah, and no, easy peasy, man. Done. It's now, crazy. Okay, so the Steam Deck though, you have to when you plug into the stick or controller or whatever, the, like it's you're gonna need to make sure it recognizes it correctly the first time. Yeah. There's there's no plug and play while the game is already booted. So no, but that's that's a game by game basis. Like there are regular aspects. I play nothing but PC games. Whether or not your game acknowledges you plugged it in or turned it on wirelessly mm -hmm. is a game by game basis. But if you're... like Street Fighter on PC just doesn't do that. They right. don't care. But if you're setting up controller on, if you're setting up um, um, a Steam Deck and like you have people coming in to like play sets or whatever in an airport, 
and they're plugging yeah. their own controller in, you're going to have to close the game each time. Um, yeah, no, that's not the use case. The use case is plug two regular controllers in and pass them and between mm -hmm. people. And they're like, well, my thing. And you're like, shut up. We're in an airport. Take um, what you can get. Exactly. A, hundred, <laughs> a thousand percent, right? Uh, and then I ran Tekken just for the fuck of it. And yeah, Tekken's a bit rougher for sure. Um, it's it's running on uh, it's running on a lower setting, but I, it the I didn't see a ton of drops. You know, it felt like this is perfect for labbing. Uh, I would never take it online. Um, I mean, you can Ethernet in if you if you know with the port, so there, that's a possibility. But for as far as this goes, it it absolutely is a great just little practice machine on the go, and most importantly. On the fucking plane, I got my Balatro in. Yeah. And that was an easy flight. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I don't know how many weeks in a row we can mention it and it'd be appropriate, but I'm holding up my telephone right now, which apparently is supposed to get Balatro. Um, where's Millions my Balatro of on my telephone? On the table. Millions of dollars. Yeah. It was either way. I'm like, yo, I have it on. Having it on the go was incredible. It's also nice that you can play it with the controllers as is, or you can literally mm -hmm. just touch because it's built for yeah. mouse controls as well. And you know, s cloud saving means I can literally resume my same save too. So, um, Balatro on the go is it feels exactly as awesome as you think it it will. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, man, fucking Steam Deck OLED, like really impressive so far with that. Um, what was your forgotten piece? I got a backbone phone controller. Oh, the fucking side clip where you put the phone in the middle. Yeah. Huh. Um, why that... not just connect the controller directly? So let's like, I, I went over this a bunch and it's like, have I've used a clamp, you know, like a metal clamp that connects your like dual sense to your phone and you hold the phone up right mm -hmm. um what you discover when you do that uh is uh for those of you watching the video you know like this right your phone's up here on top of the thing um that um that is the heaviest uh least comfortable shit in the fucking world wait that is underneath uh, over the controller it, it's it feels so fucking awful the whole thing just feels like it's tilting forward and it feels like it feels like shit okay um, what what about tilting the phone up on like a little stand and then well like, that doesn't really work when you're lying on your back no you, you need you need a surface or a t or something near yeah. you yeah right so the backbone just is like no it's i've turned it into a vita okay so the point of that is you is the, the optimal for no surface insight i'm lying down i want to hold it i i i want my phone to be a psp mm -hmm. so, um so as, which style did you get i got the playstation one because it's white okay and i put my, my green phone case into it i think it looks nice uh but it doesn't but everything's gonna have xbox buttons so whatever um uh as a I would like to turn my telephone into a Vita device. Uh, it's really solid. It works really well. Uh, I played primarily Zenless Zone Zero on it. And uh, yeah, I don't have a problem playing it on the goddamn phone with this thing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I would put its build quality above above a PSP or a Vita, but below a, a like a genuine controller it connects via the usb at the bottom right it's yeah yeah okay and it, and it has a it has a pass through in case your phone's about to die oh okay i was gonna ask is there like a bluetooth you can do if you need to or something but like okay pass through works yeah yeah no I, on the right side there's a the pass through because that's the other bit is like if i want to play so when i was playing um the uh apple arcade games and i just connected the 360 controller like having it hooked up to a battery and or plugged in so that you don't lose juice is, is also yeah. crucial Okay. Uh, it also works really, really well with Steam Link. Mm. Um, so, like, 
uh, Paige was using uh, the the big TV that we have the computer on, and I was uh, crafting bullshit in FF14 on my telephone. Okay. Which I could have done before, but now that I have a bespoke, like turn your control, turn your phone into a PSP device, mm -hmm. works a lot better. Okay. Well, I'm I'm glad that the because I know it's like it looks like a PlayStation controller, but the question is, does it feel like one? Right? No, it feels like its own thing. It okay. feels good, but it definitely feels like a, it feels like a handheld. Okay. But not like a not like a not okay. It doesn't feel like a PlayStation handheld, and it doesn't feel like a Nintendo handheld. It feels like a high end PC handheld. If that ticks any boxes. Like the buttons are small but clicky, but it's okay. a good clicky. Third party controller, but like good but third good. party, not the shitty yeah. ones. Yeah. Okay, I know what you mean. Uh but it's too expensive. I bought it on sale. Don't buy it on full price. That's ridiculous. Mm. It's like $130. Is it is the frame adjustable for all phone types? So they have a part of their website that it will tell you not only what so it, you 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 pull it out and it extends and expands quite large but on top of that they also will have a section of their website that says hey do you have the following phones here are the cases that will work with it okay and it's a huge list of cases so the extension is its own piece and then the case goes in of course no, no, the, the idea is that basically I don't have to take my phone out of its existing case to plug it in to the controller. Oh, wow. Okay, you keep your phone. It doesn't have to be the phone. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, that's so if nice. your phone, if your hmm. phone is big as fuck yeah. and you have a like an OtterBox case, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to be like, shut up, take take your phone out. That's ridiculous, right? But this is a, this is like a relatively thin case, right? I can just put that in there without having to it. And it sits comfortably as the, you, you adjust it. And uh, that's why they okay. have a little thing on their website to go, hey, look, these are cases that you will not have to take your phone out. And you can iPad as well? I don't think so. I don't know how an iPad would fit in there. It's it's. Oh, it doesn't expand wide enough to... Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I uh, I can one if uh, yeah I can I can grab it and show off next week or or what yeah, have you. But I know I really like it a lot. I my preference is still to just use an official controller and like fortunately I got a battery, uh, uh which like magnet connects on the back of mine, and yeah. with the battery there's like a thing that you can just straight up um set prop this up like even on your stomach. So I understand that. And then, However, so, so I kind of just do this, rotate it sideways, prop it up on my stomach, you know, and then I can So just... that that works really well. Yeah. I spend a disproportionate amount of my daily life trapped under a sleeping baby. Right, 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 right. Which leads all prop up your phone solutions to be non-viable. Mhm. Mm Fair. Fair being able to play from any angle uh under yeah. any circumstances but yeah also zenless zone zero is definitely like a high stimulation baby cornea annihilating like flashing lights so like having it on the phone in general is just a better solution overall uh Okay, so here's a good example. As in, baby... as opposed to on the screen where the baby's going to lock in. Yeah, so, just... so we have the living room, right? And mm -hmm. we have, like, the chairs and couch facing the TV. And the TV will be on. And I'll play Street Fighter. Baby doesn't give a fuck about Street Fighter. Baby's like, no, these wooden toys, these are the shit right here. My mm -hmm. little walker thing, mm -hmm. my little my little xylophone thing, amazing. Fuck M. Bison. I don't give a fuck, <laughs> right? But... If Zenless Zone Zero is on the screen and it's just flashing the yeah. fucking light, baby yeah. looks and I go, oh no, we can't have that. Right, right, right. No, that that that'll screw. That'll give the baby iPad brain. But if baby is on you, it's not looking back. If baby is on me, baby is asleep. Yeah, yeah. So it's not looking back to see you or whatever. No, baby can't see nothing. Baby's in dreamland. And your headphones are on. Yes, yeah. gotcha. Okay. A lot of tiptoeing. Okay. A lot of tiptoeing. Well, I mean, you'll be happy that if you get a if you do get a Steam Deck. Uh, with... Oh, I do have one. I just have the older one. 
Okay. Um, OLED was a change to cap capacity and battery life. And right? it's a little faster. Okay. Yeah. It's like 5% faster. It's really not the end of the world. Uh, but it is a little bit faster. I, I see that they're sticking with the two thumb things from the Steam controller as well. Those like, things on that thing are good. That you can actually use a mouse. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to have that they're, and a touchscreen. They touch actually screen. feel and work pretty well. Although I don't like that they limit your range to the entire window and not the whole screen. Because mm -hmm. when you go from the bottom to the top of the mouse, so with your right thumbpad, it, it's it's only like the text box, for example, that mm -hmm. you, you're covering. So I, there's a lot of times where I want to use the cursor there, and then I just switch to the touching the screen anyway. You know, mm -hmm. There's a bit of there's a couple of just like little foibles there, but um, yeah, otherwise very chill. Also, um, the Steam boot up screens that you can spend your whatever points yeah, on. Yeah, it's fun. Those are those are cool. Because, like, to get my PSP doing that, I had to have the fucking hacked oh, version you had firmware. Oh, you all stupid shit. Yeah, to get my Advent Children Cloud versus Sephiroth slash slash PSP. <laughs> you know.